Hi, and welcome back to episode four of the Century House Remodel. I'm Caleb Belcher, and we are back in the apartment above the garage, where it looks a little bit more finished than the last time we saw it. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how we took it from that unfinished state to what it looks like now, which is insulated, drywalled, and painted. So let's check it out. So there is a quick overview of insulating all of the walls and then the angled ceiling and the vertical ceiling. From there we can see the final result of once the whole space was insulated. Uh, it makes a big difference. It was way less echoey in there and then an immediate even bigger transformation to once the drywallers had installed everything. I always kind of forget how big of a difference it really makes going from studs and insulation to drywall and how much more finished it really looks. So once the drywall contractors were done, I almost immediately switched into paint mode. I have a ton of clips showing me painting and I figured that wouldn't be very exciting. So this is just the very beginning of painting. Uh, I used a combination of the sprayer, uh, roller and brushes. And between those three, it was pretty efficient to get the whole space painted. Um, from here, just this really first clip will transition to looking at what the whole space looked like once it was painted.
All right, and here is a couple clips of the final product in the apartment above the garage. This is insulated, drywalled, and painted at this point, and I'm super, super happy with how it looks. The white adds a ton of brightness with all the natural light that it gets, and I think that it's going to be a really, really nice space as we continue to move forward and um, make it an Airbnb that would really feel like a nice retreat for someone. All right, so we saw the insulation that I put in, uh, the drywall that our subcontractors put in, and the whole space painted. So it looks a lot different now. And there's obviously a good deal of both time and some amount of money. So let's talk about that. So total in time, uh, I'm going to break it down into what I did in insulation that took 42 and a half hours. Uh, in all of this, I'm not a professional. So there's probably those out there that could do it faster. But I'm also not a complete novice. So um, take that into account. Then we had a drywall contractor do all of the drywall, so uh, I don't have a good scope of how much time that took them, but obviously there's a, a higher cost incurred there as a result of that. So then moving on to paint, it took 39 hours, and that was to prime several times, which uh, that's always the case whenever you have new drywall, it, it really likes to kind of suck up the paint. So primed several times and then painted. Uh, so 39 hours to do that and that was for basically the whole upper floor of the garage and like the stairwell leading down to the front door. So then moving on to costs, uh, back to insulation, we did two types of insulation. So it was all uh, fiberglass bat insulation. Uh, it was R13 in the walls and R19 in the ceiling. So in R13, we spent $319.70 and R19, we spent another 314 and 73 cents. So total for insulation was $634 and 43 cents. Then um, the drywall that, like I said, we had that contracted. So that cost $3,150. That's to me, a good price. The contractor that we worked with was uh, fast. They got it done in a, a really short amount of time, so we were able to move on from insulating to drywall to paint in a really short time. I personally don't like doing drywall. I've done it before, and that cost was well worth it to me. So then on to paint. Uh, only spent $245.88 in paint. So that was a pretty reasonable sum. If, if you were to have someone else do that, it would be a lot more. Uh, I already had the paint gun, I already had all of the other materials, so no new tools were bought in this. And then, I, I didn't show it as much in the video, but uh, I built the half wall adjacent to the stairs and then I framed in an opening up to the like attic space above the main area. So in lumber there, I spent uh, $54.88 for the half wall and another $13 to framing in the attic opening. So all in all, uh, feel like we're still doing really good on cost. I think, uh, especially since this is anticipated to be an Airbnb, I hope to see returns on all of these investments in a really short amount of time. And yeah, really happy with how the project's going so far. Uh, excited to do hopefully cabinets next, get some flooring in, uh, do some miscellaneous things like lights and trim and, and the other stuff to uh, hopefully get this place finished and put up on Airbnb. So that is all for now. I really appreciate you watching this whole video and, and walking through the process and the cost and the time. And yeah, I look forward to uh, continuing to do these. I hope this is a, a benefit to you. Uh, if any of this in terms of how I did stuff or what it, how much time it took me or how much cost it was has been helpful, I would love for you to uh, like on this, comment if you have any questions about any of the things that I've talked about or did in my video, uh, would love for you to subscribe as I'm going to continue in the series and hopefully get the whole apartment garage done and then move on to the house and 
uh, redo it. So I think there's a lot of good content to come. Uh, it's definitely been a learning experience for me so far, and I hope the same has been true for you. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.